hey guys, figured I'd put a second video out. I hadn't really been putting maybe one a week out, uh, but we've got a bunch of people wanting to know if we're okay because we had several, I believe it was four, uh, pretty big earthquakes here today. And uh, we're on the fourth floor where we live. And this earthquake felt like it lasted a minute. Now, and that's an eternity for an earthquake. Uh, oh, unimaginable. Uh, that, that one that lasted so long, Joe was looking online. I believe he said it was a 6.3 on the Richter scale. And we had a couple of them at five point like four and five point two, and then we had a uh, one or two more actually at like four point eight or four point seven on the Richter scale. So hell of a day going through that. Uh, we got a little nervous after the second one, uh, which was out of what close to being as big as the first but well no not nowhere near as close but lasted a little bit and we went down and if you guys watch previous videos you see where we walk back up there's a, a kind of like a, a Colombian version of Walmart they're called Exitos and we went to one of those and they have an outside where you can set need if you purchase something or whatever and uh we went and got some juices and sat down and uh you know after going through all that hell uh we got the dog with us our german shepherd had him on a lead probably maybe two and a half foot long lead and this family sitting there letting a girl a little baby that's not even two foot tall play over across from us about 40 yards away from the parents and this little kid's all in a playground area uh, getting on this big equipment she shouldn't be getting on but the, you know I had the dogs probably I had six or eight inches of the lead back in my hand and hanging over uh, she comes running and barreling it up to her family and the dog jumped and her and the dog hit each other the guy just of course sitting there he wouldn't get up uh, which was good for him trust me because trust me on that uh, he was oh you, you that dog is a mix between this this kind of dog and this other kind of dog, and they're very dangerous. And Rocky's purebred German Shepherd. I was like, "Look, dude, you're very ignorant. You, your whole family's ignorant. You got you, your wife, who is holding another little baby in her arms, an infant, and then you got Grandma sitting there, your mama, and." Uh, three adults sitting there on their keisters and letting a kid that's not even two foot tall slide down a eight foot slide where if she would have fell off could have broke her neck. Uh, just crazy stuff. And I'm like, you don't let a child that size 50 or 70 yards away from you playing on playground equipment. And I politely told him, you know, it could have been a jogger coming through there and hit hit your little your child. Anyway, it's the stuff you deal with here. Columbia is an excellent place to visit. Uh, I've loved a lot of the past several years that we've lived here. Uh, there's more I've enjoyed than I've hated, but. Here lately, you know, and especially after COVID, the world's getting different. And I know that's going on in the U.S. too because Joe and I were uh, in several states in the U.S. back in August and September. And uh, seeing how people were still reacting to the virus and all these things. Uh, 
but it got me to thinking about something. I just watched a show with Lamont on the run, which is a good channel. He explores graveyards and gives interesting stories and some crime news that's recent and old and things like that. And he had a video, it was called The Last Vampire in the United States. And it was about a girl, uh, forget the name, but consumption was going around. And if you don't know what consumption, uh, cons what they used to call consumption is TB, tuberculosis. And uh, they got it in their heads in the 1880s up in the Northeast that out in a rural area that this one girl was a vampire and they went and dug the family members up. I mean, in recent history, uh, the 1880s and 90s was really not that long ago. It's not like it was the 1600s. And uh, it got me to thinking about this last virus that we've had and how crazy we all went. Uh, the fear mongering, the things to do with the mask that didn't prevent anybody from getting anything or whatnot, uh, locking ourselves down like we did uh, instead of going through herd immunity, uh, science going completely voodoo on us, and uh, things such as the common flus that normally would uh, kill people going down to virtually zero in the world and everything being the virus uh, all this crazy mess and uh, then another thing that happened we somebody took a video and there was this lady on the 15th floor in an apartment building in Bogota and when the big earthquake hit or maybe it was towards the, the, at the second one hitting, she had a panic attack and just jumps out the window. Uh, well, she goes out and she's trying to just climb down a window uh, with nothing there except a wall. And of course, when she gets down to the bottom, you know, ledge of the window sill, she just falls to her death. And uh, it just goes to remind all the panic, all the craziness going on in this world. Uh, that we need the King of Kings, Jesus, uh, more than ever in this world uh, today. And uh, there's no sense in walking around this world being scared to death and freaking out and panicking. And the biggest sad part of it is, is the ones that claim Christ are the one, or are, are a lot of them, or some of them, I'll say, uh, are the first ones to go into panic mode, as the guy did on the ship where Christ said, calm down and <coughs> calm the storm in the sea. Uh, our, we shouldn't go cliff diving and things like that, expecting perfect uh, secure beam, but uh, or skydiving, there's risk to things, so we shouldn't throw caution to the wind. Uh, but I, I had a little bit of a panic earlier today. We all got scared, I'll put it to you that way. Really no panic, but we, we all were in, in some healthy fear. This was the worst earthquake I've ever been in, but thank God I haven't got large damage reports or anything like that. Uh, but you always run risk, that, you know, and aftershock, so we're still worried. Uh, but we're not panicking, and we know that uh, if we go tonight, uh, we're gone. Uh, we go. And... Uh, Going to heaven's not a, not necessarily all that bad of a thing. Everybody seems to be clinging on to the earth, but yet claiming they believe in, uh, in a city of gold that they'll be going to with uh, no hurt and no sickness and things like that. 
and uh, we uh, that's a good thing to start pondering and for people to be thinking in, and especially a lot of you that watch this channel. Um, uh, you know, clinging on to this earth uh, to the point you're going to be panicked all the time uh, might show an indication of a lack of faith. That's all I'm saying. I don't mean to be offensive to anyone. But uh, if you sit and you tell a fella, hey, when I die, I'm going to be in the glory of God and no sickness and no misery uh, and all these things, and you're clinging to be in the hell that you claim the earth is, it's not too good of a message now, is it, to anybody? And it, and it shows a complete lack of faith, in, it, in my humble opinion. And food for thought is something we should be pondering on. But uh, the world's not getting better. People are getting uh, more angry. People are getting to be the Karens and Darens that we see uh, on a constant basis. That's happening everywhere. We got our fill of it earlier today after these earthquakes here. And uh, it's no sense in that. No sense in that. You, you've got to walk in this earth, not like that family did. We're going to let a child under uh, a two-year-old child walk anywhere they want to go in the vicinity of 50 or 70 yards of us at a shopping location uh, where there's a, a, a playground and park area. And we're just going to let our child run. And, but you make no mistake about it. There's an imaginary ring of protection around our little child. That's foolish and that's nonsense. But it seems to be that's what the world's coming to. So I figured I'd just talk about a couple of these little things that hopefully gets people thinking a little bit. Uh, hopefully, if you're going, when you next time you go through some crazy, you understand that. Uh, the more and more, as every day goes by, there's so much, much more irrational, non-rational people out there that you're going to come in contact with uh, on a daily basis. So we all need to prepare ourselves for it. Uh, I'm glad that this little incident didn't get no, no further than me letting them have it verbally in front of everybody that was there. Uh, security there was laughing about it and agreeing with me. Uh, but see, these people can't, they, they can't see everybody's laughing at them. And they can't even acknowledge or feel that uh, their behavior was wrong in any way. It was all you, you, and you, and you. And we've got to get out of, get out of that mentality and get back to a, a semblance of sanity. So... Anyway, I just wanted to tell you guys that was a little bit of our earthquake story and a story that followed. And uh, we're hoping that we don't have a big earthquake coming and that, uh, that the earth settles here and we don't go through no more earthquakes. So anyway, blessings to all of you and we'll check you later. Thank you so much.